Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Citizen Central. My name is Draxus and we are here today to finish up our series on weapon fittings for uh, primarily guns. So in the first video uh, we saw how like the different currencies and how to buy things. In the second video we saw how to do fittings. This video I just wanted to talk real quickly about what will fit your ship. So, to get us started, we've We've so far for every example we've used, we've used the F7C Hornet. So if you go to robertspaceindustries.com, pull up this ship, we'll be able to look at this together, or you can just follow along on the video. That's fine too. But if you go to their page for the F7C Hornet or for any ship, and you scroll down, you're going to look for the panel that says Technical Overview. This is going to tell you everything you need to know about the ship. So you've got the technical information here on the left. All of this is pretty self-explanatory: length, mass, max crew. It's a single fighter ship. All that good stuff basically can ignore that. Eventually, things like mass are currently taken into consideration. Lighter ships can typically go faster than heavier ships, or if it's a lighter ship with a smaller engine, it still won't go as fast. That, at a very basic level, is taken into consideration. As we move into 2.0, or excuse me, 3.0 and beyond, mass will start to matter more as you do like cargo in your ship and things like that. But right now, ignore it. It's not important. It's important later, not now. Propulsion overview is also important, but doesn't matter now. The, this isn't this isn't interchangeable. You can't really buy better uh, better engines or better maneuvering thrusters. So you can just kind of use this as a baseline while you're shopping. If you want to buy a new ship uh, and you would like to pledge more to the game, you can do that. So if you know you want a really fast ship, you might want to go with something that has a, fi a higher thrust rating, like an M50 uh, for racing. Uh, or if you want to know how fast your brand new freelancer is, you could kind of look at it and go, "Oh, that's a TR2. That's that's not fast at all." So you know, little things like that. But currently, they don't really matter beyond that. Hard point overview, however, does matter a little bit more. This is what type of weapons can your ship support. So if you remember from the last video, we looked at mounting two guns on the wings, what were essentially the wings of the F7C. Those are your gimbal mounts, those big M5A lasers that we equipped. Those are going on the gimbals. This ship will support up to a size 4. Okay, so anything, you could do size 1, size 2, size 3s, or size 4 on this particular ship for those gimbal mounts. The pylon mounts are what you can mount your your missiles to. You have two of them, one on the left-hand side um, of, let's see if it tells us what it's called, of the waist, of the waist of the ship. One on one side of the waist and uh, one on the other side of the waist of the ship. Uh, the unmanned turret also doubles as your... Your nose gun, the nose gun, you, you can equip a, a an unmanned turret to the nose of the ship here. If you do that on this one, it gives you two additional weapon slots that are size 1. So on my Anvil Hornet, I have, I have the turret with two size 1 badgers on there. So that's what this is letting you know. Or you could do a larger nose gun. So you can either do a size 1 turret, which gives you two guns, or you could do a size 2 single firing weapon on that particular spot. And if you do that, you have to buy the size 2 turret mount. <laughs> it's there. Do some reading, you'll see it. But the main thing you want to know is that the sizes matter. Uh, shield size is the same way. Very um, arbitrary at the moment, but essentially the, the, the larger the size, the more powerful the shield. Eventually, once they start balancing things out a little better, you know, you'll be able to buy different brands. Some brands might have better recharges. Some brands might have better overall hit points, things of that matter. But right now it is very basic. The bigger the better is unfortunately the mantra currently because they're not really in a balancing phase yet. Very basic balancing right now. Uh, and then additional equipment varies. This particular version comes with a default uh, cargo container the that we saw in the last video, but the F7C Super Hornet, for example, comes with a manned turret in there, and that actually can crew a second person in that particular ship. So that's all that means. Now, I've already got a tab pulled up here for us, so if you go to the weapons section of the store, so if you go to electronic access and then filter it to just weapons here, you can start to kind of see different things. Unfortunately, all that this page tells you is what the weapon is called and how much it costs. There isn't really a way to filter size 2, size 3, size 4 in here, so you have to do a little bit of additional research. CIG is working on a new website. 
that is supposed to simplify these things. I think two ATVs ago they even talked about it and showed a little bit of it, but it's not here yet. I highly recommend this spreadsheet here put together by Renegade Squadron. Uh, some person that I've never met named Maulogos uh, is his username on both Reddit and RSI. They have taken the time to pull all of the details from the games code, the, lo the local game files, and give us an overview of the information. So this is what I have been using since this originally came out. Um, and if you open the spreadsheet up in Google Drive, you just click on weapons down here and it tells you what you need to know. It'll tell you all the size 1s, all the size 2, all the size 3s, uh, approximate DPSs for them so you can kind of start to decide okay well I want these guns I want those guns it'll also let you know if they are laser cannons or if they are ammo um, ammo ones keep in mind that if they do require ammo you gotta make sure you buy the ammo as well and then there's also a really useful tab here for missiles so you can kind of find out how much approximate damage do these do what is their blast radius and then really importantly what signal type do they use so I like whenever I do dog fighting especially against other players I like to make sure I have uh, electromagnetic and infrared so I can switch between them that way whoever I'm playing against has to get you know distracted by switching their flare or chafe or chaff types rather so you can kind of get all of that information here. So if you decide that you want a set of pioneers, okay, you see that, and you go, you go into here and you do a quick search for pioneer, P-I-O-N-E-R, search. It's going to give you what you're looking for, and then you can buy them. Whenever you buy missiles, please keep in mind that they come in sets of eight. So if you want to put eight of them on your ship, don't buy these eight times. You will waste your wreck. I may or may not be speaking from experience. I decline to comment on that matter. Uh, the other thing that you can get when you click in to the information themselves, uh, like let's say we want to look at those M5As. So we put those M5A laser cannons on my on my ship currently. If we go down and look at, uh, there's the M4, there's the M5. When you click into these, it will give you some information. I mean, it'll tell you who the manufacturer is. It'll tell you what size it is. And once again, remember right now, arbitrary numbers, bigger is better. Uh, it will give you this Whitley's Guide. Useless. Ignore it. I have never seen anything that tells me what that means. I also don't think I've ever seen anything higher than, like, three. So it's arbitrary to the best of my ability to tell. Uh, and that is basically it. I mean, it'll tell you if it's a laser cannon or if it is ballistics. Ballistics requires ammo. Lasers do not, but it will drain your system energy. So you, they may overheat and, and you're not able to fire them. But that is it. That, that's really all that you need to... Oh, no, no, no. There's one thing. There's one more thing. I knew. I knew I was dragging it out for a reason. There's one more thing. Missile racks. So, missile racks, the numbers tell you everything you need to know. These will fit a size 3 pylon, and they hold four size 1 missiles. So 322 is a size 3 pylon, and it holds two size 2 missiles. If you want to use some real big torpedoes, you might grab... Oh, there we go. It's a size 4 pylon, and it holds one size 4 missile. So that's the, that, that is what that means. All right? That is it. That is the best explanation I could give of their basic armament system inside of Star Citizen. I hope that you have found this helpful, and I hope to see you in the next videos. I think the next ones we're going to do is probably some advanced uh, flight controls. Uh, so stick around for that. I should have that video up in a couple of days. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will teach you in the verse.